Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger here and I'm with The Frustrated Foodie and today we're gonna learn about essential oils and how to cook with essential oils and why they're good for you. So my guests today are Stephanie Lazaro and Rachel Coyle and they're gonna tell us a little bit about essential oils. love cooking with essential oils. You know, Rachel and I use them every day in our everyday life at home. Um, they're good for so many different things, but we especially love cooking with them. It's a lot of fun. And what's really awesome about essential oils is that you get the freshness and the flavor um, just as if you were using the best um, herb or spice or plant, whatever the case may be, you get that in this little tiny bottle. So all wrapped up in this little bottle, um, you get really, really good flavor and it packs a powerful punch. So essential oils are actually 50 to 75 times more powerful than herbs. So when you use an essential oil, you need just a little tiny bit. And just to give you an example of that, um, in this little bottle of oregano, there's 250 drops in here. And if you were to cook a huge pot of pasta sauce, you would use one drop to flavor wow. that entire pot of sauce. So it's really mm -hmm. cool. Um, I just have a couple, well, not a couple, this is quite a few. Um, not all the ones that are ingestible, but a lot of them. Um, we're gonna post an ebook that you can see all of the different oils that are ingestible that you can cook with. Um, but in the back I have bergamot, cassia, lavender, thyme, on guard, marjoram, black pepper, cardamom, cumin, frankincense, white, white grapefruit. And then in the front, I just wanted to tell you a little about bit about these because these are the ones that I'm, I use most commonly in my cooking. So I talked about oregano. Oregano is a powerhouse antibiotic. Um, we've used oregano in our home as a instead of antibiotics for six years now as long as we've used essential oils. So it's a really, really good one to get into your system. Um, clove. Clove is a really, really awesome oil. Um, on the ORAC scale, if you're familiar with that, um, it's a scale that measures the antioxidant levels in food. Clove is over a million in the essential oil form. So it's really, really good to get into your body. I love cooking with clove. Um, so many good properties and good things in there. Spearmint, I'm gonna let you guys smell spearmint. I'm feeling just a little bit nervous and spearmint gives me like a calm energy. So I'm gonna smell some spearmint too. Oh, that does smell good. So then we just have our four oils that we're going to be using in our dishes today. We have lime and ginger and wild orange and lemongrass. And we'll talk about some of their properties in a little bit while we're making our food. So why don't you tell us what we're making today? We are gonna make a coconut um, milk soup. We're going to make a Thai peanut sauce and we're going to make a um, honey glazed carrot. Great, and we're gonna do it two different ways. We're gonna do it with meat, and we're gonna do the vegan version as well. So you can see both of them side by side. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna get started um, chopping up our veggies for our soup. That's the first thing that we're gonna do. So if Michelle, if you wanna cut, um, we're, gonna act, we're gonna do the vegan option and the chicken option. So if half of that onion can go in one pot and half in the other. Okay. And then we can dice up our red pepper. Okay, do you finally. want the onions diced or do you want them yes. in like rings or anything? They diced. can get diced. Nice and small? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. All right, I can do or that. a little bigger if it would take less time so that you're not crying. No, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at these onions and when they have a little bit of brown on them, so let them go for just like another minute, we're gonna add the chicken stock then. So we'll turn off the heat back here just a little bit. Okay, I think this one's actually ready to add the chicken stock. So this is gonna be our chicken and this is gonna be our vegan in the back. So we have to always remember so we don't mix them up. So we're gonna add the chicken broth here. This one, I wonder, could you turn the heat up a little bit more on this one? Sure. We'll just let that saute just another minute. It looks like this one's gonna go faster. We'll add our chicken broth in here. I'm gonna deglaze the pan a little bit. Ooh, that was a good shot there. Yeah. Okay, and now we can add all of our other veggies.
Okay, and something I forgot to do, the chili paste is actually supposed to go in when the vegetables do. So remember that if you make it at home. We're gonna do half of a tablespoon in each one because remember we split, we've split our soups. So the carrots I think can come out, can be done. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think they're about yep. done. All right, so I'm just gonna test it to see. They are pretty good. Some people like them more soft, so you could leave them a little while. All right, we have that off, so we'll just strain these. Especially if you have young kids, those softer root vegetables sometimes are easier to chew or easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have our carrots here. This is super simple. We're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Normally at home I'll use butter, but we're trying to, to do the vegan option here. But you could do coconut oil or avocado oil, really whatever you want. And we're gonna do some salt. And we're going to do a spoonful of honey. Some people like it a little sweeter. My kids like it a lot sweeter. So I'll usually just do a drizzle. And then we're gonna add five drops of wild orange. We like to call this the sunshine oil because it smells like sunshine when you open it. If you get six or four, it's not a big deal. We'll just stir that up. So you need 10 drops if you have your double? Yep. yep, yep. And it's really whatever you like. Even if you add in more after, like you think, oh, I'd like to have a little bit more of that. It doesn't matter. Wild orange is definitely not one of the most potent oils, so it's not like oregano. Mm -hmm. It's not one that's going to, um, you know, it's not gonna ruin the dish if you add a little too much. And that is it. That's it, awesome. That's our family's favorite veggie. Okay, so we're just gonna let that go. I think another five or so minutes. Make sure oh. the chickens really cook well. But right? this one back here isn't boiling. Now, do yeah, we, do we wanna okay. stir and then simmer? With... Is... Yes. Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. And you're going to just, if you're doing the chicken option, you're going to want to make sure that chicken is kind of broken up in there because it does have the tendency to clump, kind of clump together. Okay. So we're just going to place a lid on top of it and then put that to a simmer. All right. So we're going to make an easy Thai peanut sauce. And I'm going to do, I'm really good at this. This was a challenge for me to actually come up with, um, the amounts because I am definitely like a scooper and throw it in, taste it, scooper and throw it in. Um, so I'm gonna do about half of a cup of the uh, peanut butter. Okay, and then we're gonna do about two teaspoons of soy sauce. So this is a gluten-free soy sauce. You can also use coconut aminos if you like that. So we'll do two teaspoons. And this is really a recipe that you can, you know, taste again and again. Sometimes um, this is one of my favorite things to make and I'll find at the end um, after I've made it, I'm not hungry for dinner anymore because I have tasted and tasted and tasted. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, does everybody like heat? A little bit of heat. We're gonna do a little bit of sriracha, squirt of that, and you can add as much as you want. Um, we're gonna hold off on the fish sauce until the end so that it stays vegan for Michelle. And we're gonna do a tablespoon of honey, which again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball. I'm gonna turn it on low. You wanna be careful because this will thicken up pretty quickly and we're just gonna add water to make it the consistency that we want. The heat is really just to kind of blend everything together. We don't need to have it on for very long. So we are gonna add two drops of lime. We're gonna add four drops of lemongrass. And four drops of ginger. Okay. I've got in there, but that's okay. All right, and it is getting a little bit thick. So we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add water until we have the thickness that we want. You might like it more creamy so that you can kind of drizzle it or you might like it thicker so that it's more of like a dip. Kind of 
kind of looks like it's not going to come together, but then it all does. So this looks pretty good here. I'm just going to give it a little taste. And I like it. Um, we will add, we'll take out some for Michelle and then we'll add our fish sauce. So that'll give it another layer of flavor. And this is a teaspoon of fish sauce. And again, I taste and taste and you can add or do whatever you want. You really can't mess it up because if it gets too thick, you can just add more water. Okay, so we'll put that towards the back and then that'll go with our chicken. We've already made some chicken to dip in that that will heat up for later. Oh, Yikes, no. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Is sure your foot know? okay? Yeah, I didn't get cut at all. It wasn't recorded. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, so you can get the carnage. <laughs> that was a hip. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Yeah, I'm just making yeah. sure her foot's okay. 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 We'll get you guys. And then a can of coconut milk goes in each one. Do you, do you ever need to shake it up or anything? Oh, I probably should. Yeah, especially since we're splitting it. It's a good thought because the fat will be Are you putting one can in either each at the one? top. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, it doesn't that. matter. It's so yeah. Pretty. We are doing a whole can, so it doesn't necessarily matter, but it's gonna shake it. Okay, there's that. Oh, that looks so mm -hmm. good. That broth, is that vegan broth is so nice and creamy mm -hmm. looking. Yeah. Looks really good. Okay, we'll give them a quick mix. Which one was that for? Was yep. This one is the chicken. All right and the vegan option back here. And then we're going to add our oils. So we're gonna do four drops ginger. Some people like to put them on a spoon first, just so you know it catches the extra drop. You don't put any more in than you mean to. Um, the way that I cook, I don't really care a whole lot. And these aren't, it's not gonna ruin it one extra drop. Which is that oil? This is lemongrass. Okay. So lemongrass is one that um, it's definitely not as easy to find in the store. So it's a good option to use an oil for. And then this is lime. So we'll do two drops of lime. We got three in there. Okay. And we'll give it a good stir. Now it's okay that it looks like it's curdled. There's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. It's just how coconut milk is. Yep. Oh, I can smell yep. it. It smells yeah. so good. That's the lemongrass I think uh -huh. I'm smelling. Yeah. Really gives it that fresh lemongrass flavor. Boy, I'm excited to try the vegan too. Mm -hmm. That looks really yummy. It almost looks creamier than the chicken. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah, I smell the lemongrass too. Yeah. It smells really good. We cheated a little bit and we heated it up. We have our chicken and nope. now put it on skewers, right? Yeah. All right. So what we did with this chicken, I just put it in a cast iron skillet with some avocado oil. You could use whatever oil you want, but um, I just browned it. So we did that beforehand. Um, I browned it with some garlic salt and pepper and that's it. That was just it. Brown it yeah. up. So we're going to put it on some skewers. So you really could just use a fork and eat them, Yeah. you know, like that. But this is really kid friendly. So if you have, you know, um, children, you know, obviously you teach them about the points of the skewer and stuff and the chicken needs to be a certain, um, you know, temperature if you're gonna skewer them and stuff. But it's really great if you have, you know, young children that wanna be in the kitchen with you, you can just have them make these fun little things while you're working, so. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're going to eat this with the peanut sauce. All right, so we have our Thai peanut sauce here with the lemongrass, ginger, and lime. And then we have our vegan option for the Thai coconut soup and our chicken option, which also has lemongrass, lime, and ginger. And then we have our honey glazed carrots 
and with our um, wild orange in there with our wild yeah. orange mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and our chicken skewers so this was the fish sauce. So this was the one without fish sauce and this is the one with fish sauce excellent yeah so some people they get nervous uh, ingesting essential oils but actually we ingest essential oils a lot of times in very small quantities um, like the cilantro we use for the soup today is as for the garnish um, there's essential oils in there so um, anyway if you ever get nervous about whether you can ingest an essential oil or not on the bottles that we have there's a supplement fact on it and you just simply have to check for that supplement fact just as you would check the back of a food box uh, to see you know what is in it but one thing that you want to make sure when you're cooking with essential oils you want to make sure that you're looking for two things purity and potency and so a company or a brand that you're looking for really should have a good third-party tester so a lot of people don't realize that in the united states there's really no governing body for essential oils so that means there could be fillers or things in there that should not you know, deter you from trying to cook with essential oils. You just want to make sure that you have a good reputable brand mm -hmm. and that you're not going to some off the shelf store and trying to buy, you know, the cheapest oil that you can find and not right. that price point is, is a determining factor, but really looking for that good third party tester yeah. and a reputable company. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. So now we are going to test some stuff ourselves. So everybody go ahead and grab. All right. Grab your soup and Do you want the one with a lot of cilantro or a little bit of cilantro? I'll, I'll take that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I went really cilantro. crazy on the help. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah. This has been great. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. That's really good. Who would have ever thought such a simple soup? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, it's really fast to put together. Very good. And it's this not is, too spicy. No, not at all. It could use a little bit more spice, maybe. Mm -hmm. You could even kick it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. kick it I mean, on, depending on yeah, depending what on you want. What your, what your spice threshold is. And mine's usually what? pretty low, and this is very little spice. I was surprised because I thought with the chili paste and the mm -hmm. sriracha, mm -hmm. you know, it might be tough, but mm -hmm. it's really good. Okay, next I'm going to try, try the. No, you're going to try mine? I'm going to take one bite of this. I kind of want to try it too. I wonder which mm -hmm. one. It's really creamy. I love it. Can you? Is there a big difference between the two? It's creamier than than the regular chicken broth, and I'm yeah. surprised by that. Hmm. I do like that second mm -hmm. one. That's I like it great. a lot. Yeah, that's true. They're both really yeah, good, but I do really, really like good. The, the vegan option. Well, great job, ladies. Thank you. It's been fun. Thanks, thanks for, for having us. us. Hey, thanks again, Stephanie and Rachel, and thanks again for watching the Frustrated Foodie. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day.